Hello farmers, it's Farmer Deb. And if you are playing Big Farm and you find yourself always poor, you don't have enough money for your upgrades, you don't have enough money to expand your farm, I'm gonna show you how to get more money for your farm. The biggest mistake that people make in this game is not taking advantage of their deep sea fishing area. And this right here, folks, is where all the money is in this game. There are people that do not complete their fishing tasks to open up this area, or they don't build enough boats, or they send their boats out empty, and then they only catch a couple of fish, and they don't think it's worth it, or it's too confusing for them to understand, and they just sort of leave it here. Well, I'm here to tell you that this is money. When you send your fish out and they bring fish back, they are bringing back money for you. I'm going to assume in this video that you already have your fishing area open, you already have boats, and you have already been sending them out fishing, so you already know how that, um, all of that procedure works. What we want to focus on today is how to load your boats so that you will bring in more fish in shorter amounts of time, because that's the goal, to bring in more fish. If you look at my fishing area, you'll see all of my boats are sitting here at the dock and they are waiting to go out to start fishing and make money for me. There are several pools out here and each of the fishing pools have different types of fish. So you'll see up here, we've got our shrimp, clam and oysters. We've got herring and tuna. These are my lobsters. And over here we have swordfish, salmon and cod. And they're also at varying distance from the dock. So some of them are close and some of them are far away. And just in like in real life, the boat's gonna go off to a fishing area, it's gonna fish and it's gonna come back. So obviously if that fishing area is very far away from the dock, it's gonna take a lot longer. So our goal here is even though that fishing area is pretty far away, we wanna try to cut that fishing time down. I'm gonna choose a fishing pool that is sort of center. This is a pool that has tuna and herring. And I'm gonna show you how to load it, show you what all of these numbers on this screen mean. First thing you wanna do is click on the pool. And then on this ring menu, we're gonna choose go fishing. And this is gonna open up your boat menu. So now you can see all of the boats that you have. And I'm just gonna click on one. The first thing you see up here at the top is the amount of fish that are in this pool. So now I know exactly what's in there and how many. I have 149 of the tuna and 218 herring which is approximately what, 365, 365 fish in that pool. Up here, this number tells me how long the total trip will take. So from the time the boat leaves the dock until the time the boat returns to the dock, it's gonna take just over seven hours. That's the total fishing trip time. Down here, we have some more numbers. This is information about your boat. So this is information about the trip, this is information about your boat. This will be the same for every single one of your boats if they are the same type of boat and at the same level. All of mine are happen to be level sixes. The first one is time that is saved, travel time saved. This boat is saving me 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Every boat is gonna be a little different. Some boats travel faster than others. The trawler is one that travels a little bit faster than some of the other boats. The next one is my capacity. This tells me how many fish I can put on this boat. If it is completely empty, just like it is, I cannot hold more than 195 fish on this boat. The next one tells me how many fish will be caught per hour. This is going to catch 15 fish per hour, and it's going to fish for two hours and 45 minutes. Okay, so let's understand that. The boat's going to leave the dock. It's going to get to this pool and stop. It's going to sit here for two hours and 45 minutes catching fish at a rate of 15 fish per hour. If I do the math, 15 times 2.75, that gives me 41 fish. So in this two hours and 45 minutes, I'm going to catch 41 fish and it's going to take a total of seven hours. That's not very good because my boat can hold 195 and I'm only bringing in 41 and it's taking seven hours. So we're gonna talk about how to reduce not only the travel time, but also how to increase the amount of fish that we can catch per hour. And we're gonna do that by adding crew 
to our boat. So if you click down here where it says equipment and crew, you're going to see a lot of different tabs because every type of crew has a certain superpower. So if I click on this one, all of these crew members save me travel time. They cut down on the travel time that it takes to get from the dock to the pool and back. And each of these are for a specific boat. So if you click on them over here, it'll tell you exactly what you will save. This guy saves nine minutes and he is for a motorboat. Well, I have a trawler, so I don't want him. I'm gonna click over here to Bridget. Bridget is the one that is made specifically for the trawlers and she is going to save me 27 minutes. If I move to the next tab, this changes the capacity. This increases how many fish your boat can hold. Remember, my boat can only hold 195 fish. But if I add a cooler or a freezer to it, that's gonna increase the capacity. So for my boat, I would have to add a large freezer and this would add 16. So I would be able to hold 16 more fish. This one increases your fish caught per hour. Remember we were catching 15 fish per hour. Well, if I go over to Roy, who is the one that is specific for trawlers, I will see that with him, I will now have an additional 10 fish per hour. So I'll be up to 25 fish. We also have one um, different ones that you can add for specific fish. So if you're trying to target a fish, I normally only do this during a fishing hard work event where I might want to catch nothing but herons. If I put one of these on the boat, it'll tell you what it's going to catch. So if I put a rake, it's only going to bring in oysters. Even though there's also shrimp and clams in that pool, it's only going to bring back the oysters. The next tab increases your fishing time. This is how long the boat will stay at the pool actively fishing. Mine was two hours and 45 minutes. But if I add one of these crew members, that's going to increase. So if I look at Victor, Victor will increase it by four hours. So now I'm going to stay there six hours and 45 minutes fishing. So let's talk about what this does. All right, so here's my boat completely empty. I am going to hold no more than 195 fish. I'm going to bring in 41 fish after fishing for two hours and 45 minutes. And remember that the total time was seven hours. So the first thing that I want to do is see if I can cut back on that time. I'm going to add a Bridget and I want you to see how it changes. Remember, it was seven hours and nine minutes. <clears throat> if I add a Bridget, now you can see that I am saving some travel time that changed to 37. And if I look, I've now cut my travel time down to six hours and 15 minutes. That's a good thing because now the boat isn't going to be gone as long. If I add another one, well, now it's going to cut back even more. So now my fishing trip is down to five hours. So adding Bridget's will cut back on that travel time. Okay, well, that's great, but I need more fish. I, that 41 isn't very good. So now I want to work on adding more fish. And that was the fish caught per hour. Well, that's Roy. So remember, I'm catching 15 fish per hour. If I add Roy, now I'm at 25 fish per hour for two hours and 45 minutes, which means that I am now going to catch 68 fish. That's great. So now it's going up. So you can see that as you start to add things to these empty slots on your boat, you can decrease the time that it takes for the boat to return and also increase the amount of fish that you catch. Now for me, there's lots of different ways to fill the boat. This one works for me. So I'm sure there's other people that like to fill their boat differently. Um, but for me, I like to add an equal amount of Bridget's and Roy's. And I have it saved right here. It's my day crew. So if I click here, it's automatically going to add six Roy's and six Bridget's. Now look at how this changed my time. First of all, I'm getting 75 fish per hour now. I'm going to fish for two hours and 45 minutes still, but now I'm catching a total of 206 fish. 206 fish is great. It's a little bit more than what my boat will hold though. My boat will only hold 195. So even if I catch 206, my boat can only hold 195 of them. But let's see how much time I have saved. If I look at 
Ooh, look at that. It went down. This was originally seven hours and nine minutes. Now I'm down to two hours and 36 minutes. I've increased the amount of fish and I have decreased the time that it takes. So now I'm going to bring in 195 fish in two and a half hours versus 41 fish in seven hours. That is how you maximize the amount of fish that you catch in your deep sea fishing area. All right, so I'm, I'm a little concerned about this Roy because 206 fish, mm, I can't catch them all. So what would happen if I took one of him out? Because that's too many fish. If I take one out, I'm catching 65 fish per hour, still at two hours and 45 minutes, which means that would, I would be bringing in 178 fish, which is less than my capacity. So for me, I choose to keep that extra Roy. Yes, it's a, a waste of a little bit of money um, and a little bit of fish, but at least it gives me the maximum amount of fish that this can hold. Another option would be to take my empty slot and add another Bridget. Maybe I could save some more time because right now the trip is only gonna take two hours and 45 minutes. So what will happen if I add another Bridget? She saves me time, right? So let's look and see, hmm, it's still two hours and 45 minutes because that's how long I'm gonna take to fish. I can't get that time below two hours and 45 minutes. So adding another Bridget would be a waste. I don't need her. Now I do have a couple other options. I could add a freezer or um, a cooler, but that's gonna increase the capacity that the boat can hold. That's not gonna do me any good because with this many Roy's, I'm only catching 178 fish, so I don't need to increase my capacity. I could add um, a Victor, which would increase my fishing time. So it would keep me at the fishing pool longer, but I don't wanna do that because again, I've already cut my time back. I don't wanna increase that. So for me, I like to stick with the Roy, even though he's gonna catch a little bit of extra fish that I don't need. So I'm gonna keep mine like that. <clears throat> now, this for me is the perfect setup if I am actively playing the game off and on during the day. There is another setup that I would use if it was overnight. That is a time when I would add a cooler. I would increase my capacity and I would cut back on the time. I wouldn't need to save time. So I could take Bridget's out and I could put in the coolers and maybe put in a Victor so that he would stay there and fish longer because I might be gone eight to 12 hours. So that would be different. All right, so you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Farmer Deb, that's great, but you have all trawlers. I don't. Or maybe you only have a level four trawler or you have a skipjack or you have a motorboat. What do I do? So a good rule of thumb, just to make this whole thing, this process very easy, a good rule of thumb is to just stick with these two, the travel speed and the fish caught per hour. Just add those two crew members as you're learning this. That's all you have to worry about and do it equally. So split them in half. I have an even amount of slots because I'm a level six. So for me, I'm going to do half Roy's and half Bridget's or whatever crew member it is for your boat. So if you're on a skipjack, you want to use Nancy's, for instance. So whatever crew member works for your boat, you're going to do half travel speed, half fish caught per hour. If you have an odd amount of slots, so right now mine are even, if I didn't have one of these, you want one extra travel speed person. So for me, I would have one extra Bridget than Roy because Roy is going to increase my fishing. The, or I'm sorry, Roy is going to increase the amount of fish, but because it's a lower level boat, I won't catch as many. So it'd be more important to save time. So split them in half. If it's an odd amount, have one more Bridget than Roy or one more travel speed person than your fish caught per hour person. I know it's a little confusing. I hope that cleared it up though. I hope that you now understand. So just a real quick review. If you're looking at your boat, this is how much travel time you are saving, which is from the crew members that you're getting from travel speed. The capacity is the capacity of your boat. It doesn't change unless you add a cooler that gives you more storage for your fish. The fish caught per hour is increased by the fish caught per hour crew members. And then this last one is how long you are actively fishing at that fishing pool. And then if I X out of this, I can see the total time my trip will take. 
By adding crew members, you're going to catch more fish in a smaller amount of time, which means more money for you. And that's what you want. You want to bring in money, sell those fish, upgrade your farm. If you have any questions about this, something I didn't cover, please leave it in the comments below. I'm happy to answer. Go out there, start fishing, and start making some money. So until our next video, goodbye, everybody.